Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Mr. Eric here, and today we got a couple of offerings from Hi-Fi Man. On one hand, we've got the Edition XX, which is the drop collaboration. I don't, I don't know if you can still get this or not. It's, it's got some age on it, um, but I was able to pick this one up for about 375. And then we've got, on the other hand, the Anandas, which uh, I got open box from Amazon for less than 500, which. You know, it's a pretty decent deal on the uh, Ananda. So they look quite similar. Do they sound similar? Which one's better? That's what we're going to dive into today. So um, before we do that, you know, just consider giving this video a like and subscribing if you're interested in headphone content. I'm really doing my best to make a video a week. And, uh, you know, no guarantees on that, but I'm trying. So thank you ahead of time if you could do that for me. Now, Little backstory here. Uh, I've been wanting to try one of these large Hi-Fi Man for a long, long time. They're pretty well regarded in the headphone world. And I'm sure if you've done any research, if you're watching this video, you probably know that. You hear a lot about the Anandas. You hear less about the Edition XX. Now, I was able to pick up the Edition XX first. And because it was a little bit cheaper, you know, I, I thought, okay, finally I can try one of these large Hi-Fi Man planers, and it did not disappoint. So I, I will get into some details here, but I really, really like this headphone, um, and it surprised me how much I liked it, because I, I, I honestly, I wanted to try it, but I was skeptical as to whether I would like it or not. Um, but yeah, I ended up really enjoying this headphone and that made me think, of course, like, I don't know if your mind works like this, but I'm like, oh, well, if that one's good, then the more expensive one should even be better. So then I kind of like couldn't get it out of my head and I had to go ahead and buy an Ananda to compare it. Now, my findings with these and my preference kind of surprised me. So, um, We'll, we'll kind of go through the sound here and then I will we'll get into like why I like one over the other. Uh, so first kind of build, let's, let's go over build characteristics. I mean, obviously they are very, very similar. Um, size, shape, weight is all very, very similar. You can see in there the, the magnet structures and things do look a little bit different. Uh, inside of there and obviously the headbands are probably the biggest difference here. So um, I, to, For me you can see I've got Dakoni nuggets on the Edition XX whereas uh, and it's got kind of just the The solid headband piece with a little bit of pleather kind of wrapped around it um, It couldn't quite fit my head. So that's why the nuggets are on there and now this thing just fits perfect and it's super super comfortable um, my wife laughs at me though whenever she sees me wearing around the house um, but you know when I'm wearing it I don't really notice like how big it is it's super comfortable and it's actually really lightweight especially coming from using an uh, LCD 2 a lot like this is much lighter and like it's easier to not think about it being on your head I guess is is what it comes down to um, the big plus with the Edition XX over the Ananda's headband style is there is like a slight pivot right here um, on the cups so you can get a nice flat feel against your face so it feels secure I mean I can bend down I can move around and uh, it, it doesn't it doesn't bother me it stays put really well um, the Ananda on the other hand it uh, you can see like I have to use this both these headphones are like for people with really big heads I guess I don't I don't know my head is on the smaller side but like on the Ananda I'm literally using it on like I cannot make it go any smaller and I still it's fine the way it sits on my head but with because there's no cup swivel it like it just I don't get that secure feeling with it on my head so um, comfort wise I prefer the Edition XX now build quality wise I would say although they're quite similar and like the, the way the materials feel and things like that I would say that the Ananda is just it, it's fit and finish is just a little bit better um, overall over the Edition XX and that's something that you can kind of really feel as you're plugging uh, the cable in and out of the sockets. It just it all feels a little bit tighter a little bit smoother. It doesn't 
feel is like creaky and it just feels a little bit tighter in like the the machining and things or the tolerances are a little bit better on the ananda um <clears throat> yeah i i mean they're both reasonably comfortable the build quality is reasonable for each of them uh, i can't say i have any major complaints there if the ananda had swiveling uh cups i think it would be the clear winner but as it is now uh edition xx for me as far as just just the one that i like to wear on my head more uh okay yeah i mean i think let's just dig into sound you know let's not spend too much time on this i guess one thing i can talk about is the cable real quick now i but because I bought the Edition XX second hand and I didn't have the original packaging, I don't really know what the cable is like for it. I mean, Hi-Fi Man cables are, uh, Hi-Fi Man cables are notoriously bad. So I assume it's bad. Um, the, the Ananda comes with a couple of cables and I don't know that I'd call it bad, but it feels, it's very much like surgical to be feeling so it's very rubbery feeling it kind of like i don't know it, it kind of wants to hold a shape but it still is quite flexible it it works fine uh it wouldn't be my preference of material but i do like that you get kind of a shorter 3.5 millimeter uh termination and then you get a that one's about maybe four feet long and then you get a longer uh kind of chunky quarter inch termination and this one is maybe about eight feet long so i kind of like that you get at least a couple options there of course it'd be nice to have like a balanced option too but you know it is what it is so they're they're decent nothing to write home about uh okay sound now let's just let's just cut to the chase here i prefer the edition xx actually and i know a lot of people wouldn't make that choice um, but let me just hit kind of the basics of, of, of the Edition XX and then we'll compare it to the Ananda. So the bass is very impactful. It's got a lot of bass. It's a little boom to it. Um, you know, so it's a little bloomy maybe, but it's still, it doesn't bleed into the mids or anything like that. Um, so I really like the bass impact and texture on the uh, Edition XX. Mids on it sound good, sound natural. Um, they've got plenty of like weight to them and body to them. I think they sound great. And then uh, kind of that upper, mids, lower treble frequencies, um, those are pulled back just a little bit, which makes this just a really smooth, easy headphone to listen to for like long, long periods of time. So this is, and then going into the highs, you know, there's there, there's a lot of air and it's got a great sense of space to it, which is probably something you've heard about, about these styles of headphone. Like there's, there's a nice air to the upper frequencies and it, it just, it sounds really natural in the way it presents space. Um, so easy to listen to laid back a little bit warm um not like the best technical headphone ever but it does it still gives you all the detail but like it if you can imagine it's being like slightly pixelated if, if we're gonna make like an analogy there um so if you zoomed in on like a, a curve you would see like little jagged edges to it and that sounds bad but in practice it doesn't um like, I don't feel like it really takes away from the experience all that much. Um, and because of that, like, I feel like this thing pairs really well with even lower end source gear. Um, whereas the Ananda, it's so resolving that um, it really reveals the flaws of your source. So compared to the Edition XX, uh, the bass is pulled back a bit. You still get, you get a lot of bass detail and texture but it definitely doesn't have the impact that the Edition XX does. Um, and I really miss that when I switch to the Ananda. And you know, as it, it also, to jump up to the upper frequencies, I don't feel like it has as much air up at the top end as the Ananda, do, or excuse me, as the Edition XX does. So I feel like the Ananda, it, it sounds maybe a little more closed in than the Edition XX to my ear. Um, kind of the same way it honestly it reminds me a lot of the Aliers that I like just tried so you can check that video out after this one if you're interested but it's just so clean and it resolves so much 
that I feel like it really kind of commands your attention to listen to it. And, you know, you're hearing, if we go back to the, the pixel thing, uh, like these are so high resolution, you wouldn't see any of those jagged edges on, with the Ananda. You're getting the clear picture. Now, the flip side of this is if you're using lower end source gear, so for instance, um, let me compare like the X-Can. So I have an iFi X-Can right now, the Bluetooth amp. And then I've got uh, my Mojo, which is kind of like my standard kind of go-to uh, portable um, reference. And like, so the Edition XX sounds good on both of those amps. And it's not that the Ananda doesn't sound good on both of them, but when I'm listening to the Ananda with the X-Can, like you can definitely tell that the X-Can is not as resolving as the Mojo is. So, so you really like, the Ananda is going to scale, I think much more with, with higher tier DAX and amps than the Edition XX will. However, I'm kind of at a point here where even my Mojo isn't seeing a lot of use and my main desktop rig isn't seeing a lot of use because I'm just really enjoying the Bluetooth like freedom with the X-Can. So for me, it's not, the idea that the Ananda will scale better, like it isn't high on my priority list because I don't know how often I'm going to have it paired up with that higher end source gear. So that's kind of a big factor for me. That that's of course that's going to be terribly different depending on your use case, um, but that's just something that I noticed. The mids again on the Ananda just, I mean they're smooth. It's a smooth headphone. It's super resolving, but it doesn't have that upper mid lower treble frequency range like is not pulled back at all on the uh, ananda like it is on the edition xx so it's just it's not for me it's not as easy of a headphone to listen to um, especially for long periods of time now when i'm listening to slow paced calm like acoustic music the ananda is just i mean it's just beautiful like it it's it's delicate and fast and it fully resolves all of those things and it's just man it sounds good but then like a song will crescendo and it'll get a little more intense and then i'm kind of if i'm just trying to chill out i'm kind of like ooh, i wish i was listening to the edition xx so if you're really wanting to like dial in in your music and like fully engage with it and just totally like pay attention to all the details, the Ananda is going to be the clear winner. But for me, um, I'm kind of in more of a listening mode where I just want something that I can like put on and relax and just kind of enjoy music and just chill out. And the Edition XX, in my opinion, is much better for that use case. Um, other things that I've tried, I mean, I've gamed a little bit with both of these, playing a little Call of Duty, um, but I wouldn't say that either of these are like great gaming headphones. They do okay. The Edition XX for me seems like a little bit wider, um, and the imaging was maybe just a little bit better in that use case, but I mean, again, the resolution is better on the Ananda, but I also didn't feel like I, I was able to pinpoint things quite as well with it, and I didn't feel like it was quite as wide. Um, so if I had to choose one for gaming, I'd choose the Edition XX, um, but neither one is gonna be a top choice for that, but either one could do it if you're looking for kind of like an all around headphone. Um, actually, the headphone that I'm really enjoying for like movies and TV and gaming right now is the Hi-Fi HE 560, which I picked up a couple of weeks ago. Um, so I'll be doing, you know, stay tuned and I'll do a review on that here in uh, the near future. Uh, but yeah, as far as like my main listening headphone right now, the, uh, the Edition XX is now my front runner um, and my go-to if I want to sit down and actually listen to music um, so I've been using this headphone a lot and I've been using it a lot with the iFi X can which that too I'll be you know I'll, I'll do the video on that you know in the near future as well so so it's been great to actually have a chance to try these uh, big hi-fi man planers I honestly really thought that that the Ananda would be the one that I would probably end up keeping after liking the edition XX because I read online that a lot of people said it was better 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 and technically, yeah, it's the superior headphone, but as far as like frequency response and just what I want out of a headphone, I like the Edition XX. 
So going forward, that's going to be my headphone to be at this point in time. Um, and even, you know, my LCD2 pre-phaser, I decided to go ahead and let those go. I like the Edition XX so much. And uh, yeah, that's where we're at right now. So still very much in the process of of trying to figure out exactly what I want for all my audio things, uh, my, all my audio setups, but I'm feeling like I'm getting there um, pretty quickly. Although I still got a lot of stuff on hand that I need to unload and review and do all that. So uh, again, stick around, there's gonna be more to come. Feel, if you have a question between these two headphones, feel free to drop it down in the comments below, offer a different opinion or, uh, you know, yeah, anything else that you wanna comment on and we'll get a dialogue going. Thanks for watching and I will see you next week.